What's up folks, it is Ashwin again and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 16 Road to Glory. This is episode number 6, this is how we ended up in the last episode. We destroyed everyone, there was rage quits left, right and centre. We made 4 people rage quit I think it was. Uh, obviously one of the games rage quit at 0-0 so I had to replay another game. But this is where we are, 6 points from 2 games in Division 9. We need to win another 3 and that will take us up. So hopefully we'll be able to do that this time. Well, another two will take us up, but another three will win us the league. So hopefully we can do that in this episode. I'm going to get straight into it, guys. This is a team that I'm rocking at the moment. We will, after we get promoted, need to build another team because I am running out of fitness cards, uh, squad fitnesses. So I'm probably going to build a cheap 10K team, which is hopefully what I'll have. But let's get into the first game. I'll happily take rage quits, although I would like to see the games last a little bit longer so I can get more coins. But let's go. Right there in the first game we came up against a 100 chemistry team, complete contrast to what happened in the last episode where we were coming up against absolute horse shit for the whole of Division 9. Uh, but things started off okay. Uh, this game was a bit of a frustrating one, that's pretty much how this episode goes. Look at that header though, great header, I think it was the Ox who scored that one. Uh, absolutely fantastic header from that angle, but yeah this was a, a definitely probably one of the most frustrating episodes so far. I know we're, I th we're only like a few episodes in, but it was... Hella frustrating. My defending was just all over the shop. I don't know what is wrong with me right now. And in this game, pretty much everything happened within this minute, this minute period of the game. I literally, from when I scored that goal then, you're going to be seeing the gameplay constantly for a minute because that's where all the action was. We managed to nick the ball off him after his kickoff, which never really happens too often. You don't. This doesn't happen too often. You don't nick it and then score straight away. But Payet makes it 2-0. I'm thinking, peace, piss. We've just scored two goals in two minutes. If this guy doesn't rage quit in the next few minutes, if I score another, he will rage quit pretty quickly. And I was thinking, right, he's going to crumble. He's going to be all over the place. But it's not how it turned out, unfortunately. Silly, silly passing. I don't know if the passing's got worse, but I pass an awful ball, and then he puts his guy through a, another defensive bullshit where it just rolls off your defender's foot straight to his attacker. Bang, goal in the back of the net. But that was pretty much the whole game right there, guys. And then for whatever reason, uh, this happened in the second half. I don't know if he rage quit or if, I don't know if his connection went, but I was dominating the guy, to be fair. You'll see from the stats in a moment. It was like the 70-whatever 70, 70 minute. His keeper would have been man of the match. Nine saves, 9.2. Obviously, rage quit. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it as a rage quit. Didn't get as many coins because we didn't manage to last out the whole game, which is really annoying. But look, 11 shots, 8 on target. He had 3-3. Three and three. I was all over him. I don't know how he didn't score more goals. But hey-ho, a win's a win. So we're now two wins off winning the title. But second game... 89 chemistry. I was a little bit scared of his Ben Arthur because I know he's amazing and I think he's got five star skills. So if you know how to use your skills, which I'm not a great skill, I'm going to be honest with you, I can fake shot and that's pretty much it and do the odd roulette. Um, but we managed to start off really well. Look at that finish from Danny Welbeck. I was like, shit, where's he running? Head the ball in. But it, just, it must have literally just gone over the line. Absolute blasted it off the bar. Look at this. Ball straight through. Welbeck. Bang. Down. You can't see from that angle, but it obviously went in. 1-0 up after five minutes, and I'm thinking, here we go again. I'm going to I'm gonna breeze this, but my defending was terrible. He, all you have to do against me, if you come up, if you ever come up against me, guys, just run down the middle, because I cannot defend for shit. And I was getting pretty angry in this game. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't defend. I really need help in, in defending. I need to book up my, my skills in defense, because I've got decent defenders. Well, I've got Toprak and Koscielny. Koscielny is one of the best defenders that I've used. And he just runs down the middle again. And at this point, two on down. I'm raging. This guy's on the mic as well. So I don't know what he's saying because I'm in a party chat. I think he was French because I did listen to him for like two minutes. But then I was like, I can't be asked with this. I don't know what he's saying. Straight down the middle again. He's going to blast it in. Bang. No. Keeper saves it. And then he parries it out straight at him. Perfect header there. Because she only, what, nine foot tall cannot beat whoever this guy is. Right before half time, I'm three one down. And I'm like... Fuck you. He'd not had amazing chances. Well, the stats were pretty even. He had slightly more possession, which is standard. This happened straight after kickoff of the second half. Toprak gets his second yellow card. That was just my frustration kicking in there, guys. Uh, but we did manage to get a lifeline just before the 60th minute. Managed to get a penalty. Schurler doing the work. And then it's got Rodriguez on it. He's quality at free kicks, I think. And he's probably got great penalty stats. So I thought I'd keep him on it. Got it back to 2-1. And I was like, yes, come on. We've got time. We've got time. But it wasn't meant to be. Um, I just defended crap. It, it ended up 3-2. We get just short of 400 coins. I did have my chances. 8 shots, 5 on target, which I don't think is too bad to say I had 10 men for pretty much the whole of the second half. But that's our first proper loss of this of this series. Obviously, we had one loss, but it was a disconnection. 
Third and final game, we come up against a pretty nice BPL team. Nothing happened in the first half. I had chances, he had chances. Not, I didn't get a shot on target, and I'm going to show you a, a shot that Welbeck had, which was absolute horse shit. Like, this is just the way the game went. It's, it was a pretty poor episode on my behalf. Um, we get lucky this time. It's my turn to get lucky. Short corner, Oxley chamberlain oh, I can't even speak. Oxley chamberlain runs it into the box. We get a lucky rebound goal. I hate when those go against me, and that you tend to re remember them more than when they go for you, but near post, OP, and then straight from kickoff, he manages to get through. Poor defending again, straight through the middle, bang, one all. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why am I so bad at defending? Jamie Vardy's having a party at my expense this time, but it didn't stay that, like that for long, fortunately. However, I think this is the chance which Welbeck misses. Look, he's clean through here, clean through, nine yards, Bang, over the bar. I was I was I was celebrating then to be honest with you. But how do you bust it over the bar from there? But Schurler, he's my favourite player in this team so far. He's great, he's got great pace, he's tall, he's got good strength, he can win headers, he's got the pace, he's got the dribbling, makes it two one and it should have been a lot more to be honest. It really should have been. Welbeck missed a hat full of chances. He's not like he was on FIFA fifteen, but that's how the game ended, guys. We did manage to get a win, so two wins out of three games. Not too bad. I was hoping to get promotion this episode. I want to try and get to the high divisions as soon as possible because obviously it's a lot more money. But 12 shots, 6 on target. Look where all my chances were from as well. Pretty much in or around the penalty spot. Those shots that Welbeck missed. It wasn't the only one that he missed to be fair. But I didn't show all the others because it was just embarrassing. I really don't know how I didn't score more goals in that game. And when I'm only one goal ahead, I tend to get more frustrated as well. It really starts to annoy me. Like, how am I missing this? And... I've seen other streamers get pissed off as well, even when they're winning. But that's how we end the episode, guys. 12 points. We need one win in Division 9 for the title, and we'll get an extra 3K. I've got a backup team, which I think I'm going to make. It costs about 6K. It's a non-rare BPL team, and then I want to build a, um, a Serie A team as well, because that's my favourite team that I've used. We did have to use my on-loan Vidal in place of Toprak, which you're going to see here, because he was obviously banned. Uh, but we swapped him back and top racks back. I'm going to use my last fitness card as well. So I do need to make, after I get promoted, a non-rare team. Because then we'll rotate the teams. And then we'll only need contracts, which I've still got a few. But anyway, guys, this video is about to come to an end. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye for now.